We were in the presence of royalty on and off the field at Ed DeFore. Kadivius Iverson showing his power early. The senior takes the handoff and only has eyes for the end zone. 95 yards later, that's where you'll find them. Iverson leads the GHSA 2A in rushing, having over 1,200 yards this season. The Seminoles get the 57-18 dub over Rutland. Let's take it out to Marvin Arrington Stadium. St. Ampicelli kicking things off for the second half, but they weren't ready for Jackson St. Clair. The senior makes the catch and then plays peekaboo. Now you see him, now you don't. Now you see him all the way to the end zone. The receiver gets their untouched Westfield gets their first GIAA region title 26 to 10. A big region battle in the Valley. Peach County taking on Cairo and the Trojans were flying. Check out the turbo boosters on Ashton Barton, the sophomore playing like a vet to help the Trojans stay undefeated in the region. George Johnson Stadium was the site of another GIAA championship. FPD hosting Tattnall in a thriller. QB Major Simmons scrambles out the pocket into no man's land. Clock winding down. One throw to Heisman Alvarez beats all the Trojans, and it's the last touchdown before overtime. FPD wins the region title 27 to 20. Extra, extra, read all about it. Mary Persons back in Dan Pitt Stadium for another region crossover. Mac Nelson showing off with this floater to Mason Stevens. The focus might be blurry, but the Bulldogs' future was bright Friday night. MP gets the win over Sandy Creek. 37-29. Finishing it out at Thompson Stadium, the Northeast Raiders hosting the undefeated Dodge County Indians. Dodge trying to get downfield through the air, but Courtney Williams leveled up to steal possession. Watch him do whatever it takes to get his hands on the ball. The sophomore gets his 10th pick of the season in Northeast 40-19 senior night win. And that will wrap up this week's top plays.